Father who art in heaven. Yes. Uh, don't interrupt. I'm praying. But you called me. Called? I didn't call you. <laughs> I'm praying. Our Father who art in heaven. There. You did it again. Did what? Called me. You said, Our Father who art in heaven. Here I am. What's on your mind? Well, I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> I was just saying my prayers. I always say the Lord's Prayer. It makes me feel good. It's like I'm getting my duty done. <laughs> All right. Go on. Hallowed be thy name. Hold it. What do you mean by that? By what? By hallowed be thy name. Well, I, I mean? Me, oh, good grief. I don't know what it means. It's part of the prayer. What does it mean? It means honored, holy, wonderful. Well, I never knew what it meant. Well, that makes sense, Hallowit. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that, Mary? Sure. Why not? <laughs> what are you doing about it? Doing? Nothing. But, you know what? I think it'd be really neat if you had control of everything down here, like you do up there. <laughs> Have I got control of you, Mary? Well, I go to church. That isn't what I asked you. What about that habit of gossip you have? And your bad temper? You really have a problem there, you know. And then there's the way that you spend your money all on yourself. And what about the kind of books you read? Stop picking on me. I am just as good as any of those other phonies down at church. Excuse me. I thought you were praying for my will to be done. If that is to happen, it will have to start with the ones who are praying for it, like you, for example. All right. I guess I do have some bad hang-ups, <laughs> now that you mentioned it. I could probably name a few. So could I. All right. I haven't thought about it in a while, but there are some things I'd like to change. I'd like to be a good person. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll work on you, and I can have some victories that can truly be won. I'm proud of you, Mary. Uh, Lord, can we kind of wrap this up? <laughs> this is taking a little bit longer than it normally does. <laughs> Give us our daily bread. You need to cut down on the bread. <laughs> what? What is this? Criticize Mary Day? Here I am doing my religious duty. I'm saying my prayers, and you break in, and you remind me of all my hang-ups. Praying is a dangerous thing, Mary. You could wind up changed, you know. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. You called me, and here I am. It's too late to stop now. Keep on praying. I'm very interested in the next part of your prayer. I'm scared. Scared? Of what? Of what you're going to say. Try me and see. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those that sinned against us. What about Beth? I knew it. I knew you were going to bring up Beth. Why, she has told lies on me. She has cheated me out of money. I swore, Lord, I would get even with her. But your prayer, what about your prayer? I didn't mean it. Well, at least you're honest. But it's not much fun carrying around that load of bitterness inside, is it? No, but I'll feel better as soon as I get even. Boy, have I got some plans for old Bethy. She's going to wish she's never done me any harm. You won't feel any better. You'll feel worse, Mary. Revenge isn't sweet. Think of how unhappy you are already. But I can change all that. You can? Yes. How? Forgive Beth. Then I can forgive you. Then the hate and the sin will be Beth's problem, not yours. You may lose the money, but you'll settle your heart. I can't, Lord. I cannot forgive Beth. Then I can't forgive you.
right. As much as I want revenge for Beth, I want to be right with you, Lord. I forgive Beth. I really forgive Beth. Help her to find the right road, Lord. I think about her. I, I think she must be miserable. Help her to, to find her way in life with you. There now. How do you feel? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Actually, actually pretty good. Pretty great. Good. You're not through with your prayer. Go on. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Good. Good. I'll do that. Just don't put yourself in places where you can be tempted. What do you mean by that? Quit hanging around the wrong places, watching inappropriate movies and television, listening to sinful conversations. Change some of your friendships. Don't be fooled, Mary. They advertise they're having fun, but for you, it will be ruined. Don't use me for an escape hatch. But I don't understand that part. Sure you do. You've done it lots of times. You get caught in a bad situation, you get into trouble, and then you come running to me. Lord, help me out of this mess, and I promise you I'll never do it again. You remember some of those bargains you tried to make with me, Mary? Yes, Lord. I do, and I'm really ashamed. You know, up until now, all I thought I had to do was just say the Lord's Prayer, and then I could go on living my life the way I wanted to. I never expected all this to happen, Lord. Go ahead. Finish your prayer. For thine is the kingdom the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Do you know what would bring me glory, Mary? What would make me really happy? I want to know, Lord. I really, really do. Oh, Lord, I think now I'm beginning to understand what it means to be a follower of yours, Lord, to really, truly follow you. I love you, Lord. You just answered my question. I did? Yes. The one thing that would bring me glory is to have people like you truly love me. And I can see that happening between us. Now that some of these old sins are out of the way, and now that you and I are communicating, well, there's no telling what we can do together. Hey, Lord, you think, you think now, from now on, uh, maybe we could really really talk like this again. You think we yes, can do Mary. That? Let's really talk from now on.